All right, well, welcome everybody to our oil class today. I'm super excited to be here with you. Um, my name is Beth, uh, Beth Basham. I currently am in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So I know we've got a few people here today from all across the globe. I see Brianne, um, she's in Germany. Wendy, uh, you're here in the US with me. Um, and then Megan's in Canada. So we've got some good representation of, of the uh, different states. I think we'll see if other people pop in and say hello if they do, but I'm super excited to be here. Um, many of you already know but I, I'm a registered dietitian. Functional medicine um, is one of my passions, and one of the reasons I actually got into essential oils is, um, is because of that, and I'll explain my story in a little bit. Uh, but today, my conversation and topic is to share with you a little bit about some of the best oils to have in your home. Um, a lot of people are confused about how to use essential oils or they get oils and they don't know what the heck to do with them. They have these oils just sitting on their, their shelves collecting dust. And they're like, what in the world, what do I do with this? Um, so today's class is not only for the person who's never been exposed to oils, but also for the person who has some oils and they don't know what the heck to do with them, right? Like they've bought this kit or they've you know, invested this money in these oils, but they have no clue really what to do. So I wanna go through a few of my favorite uses of these top 10 oils and explain to you how awesome they are and also explain to you how, um, how you can use them in your everyday life so that you can make them uh, solve almost 80% of the healthcare issues that you might have in your health. Uh, so it's really important that um, if you want, you can take notes or you take this recording and you, and you watch it if you have any questions, but also know that I am here as a support person uh, to really support you in understanding how to use your oils if you have invested in them. And if you haven't invested in oils yet, to learn a little bit more about them to see if there's something that's for you, see if that's something you want to bring into your home. So I see we have another person joining. I can't see a name on it, but that's A-OK. -okay. Um, welcome to class. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the top 10 essential oils um, I'm gonna be talking about today are those that have really impacted my life, and I'm sure on some level for those of you who aren't new to oils have impacted your life. So I'd be happy for those of you who do use oils to share those experiences um, towards the end of class if you have any testimonials. Um, I got into essential oils about four years ago. Uh, have to understand that when I got into, or I was exposed to essential oils, I was 100% a skeptic. Uh, I was introduced to an oil and I was like, what the hell is this? Excuse my French. Um, especially you and Megan in Canada. Speak, you don't speak French though, do you? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I really just, uh, I didn't have any interest. I, you know, as a dietitian, I, I do have people kind of come up to me and be like, hey, check out this supplement, check out that. And I've always just kind of passed it off because there's just so many companies out there. And sure, there's great products, but I just felt like essential oils were just another one of those marketing ploys. Like they probably didn't have anything good to offer. And I just was really, really skeptical. So um, I was really off put by everything. But over time, I got to know I have a friend who introduced me to the oils. And he just kept on. He just kept on sharing and being really generous with information and samples and whatnot. Um, he finally actually gave me a book um, that I use often. And I learned about these oils and I started using them. And I was like, whoa, they work immediately. Like essential oils might sound like a, like a crazy, you know, witch practice or something like that to somebody who's never um, experienced them. But once you put an oil in your hand, it's incredible incredible how quickly and effectively they work. Uh, I'm not here to share with you today how to solve 100, you know, to, to solve disease, but I'm here to tell you how to promote health today using essential oils, incorporating them into your lifestyle. It's amazing the results you'll get. Um, so, so I've been using essential oils for about four years. It was a slow warming up process, but now that I use them in my home, the oils that you see pictured here are oils I'm going to talk about today are something that I, that I use every single day in my house and I find bring complete joy and um, happiness into my life. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna explain really quick what the heck an essential oil is because I know there's gonna be people listening to this recording who just don't know what an essential oil is. Um, and quite simply, these are 
beautiful little drops from nature. Um, they're extracts from plants, from different parts of the plant, the seed, the leaves, the barks, the stems. Each different part of a plant has a therapeutic property. So the leaf of one plant might be different than the fruit of the plant. And the essential oils are extracted from those parts of the plants that are extremely um, rich in certain compounds that can support our health. Um, these oils, especially the oils that I'm talking about today from doTERRA, are very, very highly concentrated. So less is more when we're using essential oils for the most part. Um, people in our society, in our modern time, think that, oh, if I use one drop of oil, then 10 must be better. When in fact, the case is that more is not necessarily better and sometimes less is better. So essential oils are wonderful because these little bottles, um, the one that you see pictured here is 15 mils. They last forever. 250 drops in one of these bad boys will last up to 250 doses of whatever you're using them for. They're 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herbal counterparts to them. So um, you'll see at the very bottom of this slide, one drop of peppermint essential oil, which is one of my favorites pictured here, contains the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea. I mean, that's a lot, right? Uh, and you will, if you've experienced a drop of peppermint in your hand, and if you have some with you, feel free to drop a, a, a little drop of peppermint in their hand, rub your hands together, and just take a deep breath. You will know exactly what I mean. I, it, it literally sweeps over your respiratory system and creates this huge open sensation, energy. It, it's really amazing, and you can experience that that huge, powerful concentration immediately. I kind of think of peppermint as the gateway oil to try to get started um, because it is so incredibly fast and effective. All right, so um, we use essential oils in various ways. The most common ways are listed here. Um, so I'm gonna go through those fairly quickly so we can get into the top 10 oils that will solve 80% uh, of your health needs. But the first way is aromatically. So what I just, um, talked about peppermint and I'm putting a little drop in your hand and pulling it up to your nose and breathing those compounds, those therapeutic compounds in through your nose, that's an aromatic use of essential oils. Um, many people, you've probably heard of diffusers, um, they're little machines, they're cold, well, I'm going to pull mine out of the wall really quick, but what they do is they, um, they diffuse the oil with water throughout the air to create that aromatic effect. If you've ever gone into a spa or um, some sort of healthcare place and they have like a really beautiful scent in there, they might be diffusing an essential oil. Um, these essential oils purify the air through aromatic use. They affect our moods, which is incredible, and I'll get into that with some examples. They help maintain a healthy airway because when we're breathing them in, we get those benefits through the mouth and the nose. So aromatic use is awesome. That's how a lot of people get started with essential oils. It's just because they smell really delicious, okay? Um, and they're non-toxic, so they're a hell lot better than using some sort of um, air freshener, or those plug-in glade things. Those are so toxic, you guys. They're so bad for us. And if we can replace those with essential oils, we're doing ourselves double good, right? We're making our air smell pretty and fresh, um, but we're also providing this therapeutic benefit. Another way we can use oils is topically. So topical application of oils to the skin or the bottoms of the feet, it works really, really quickly that way. Uh, the oils, when we put them on our skin, actually enter the bloodstream within about 30 seconds. It's incredible, but an essential oil, once it touches the skin, within about a minute, has affected every single cell in your entire body. I mean, that's incredible. They're tiny, 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 tiny molecules that literally get carried throughout the body in a very, very quick manner. Um, that's wonderful because they go in quickly, but they're also metabolized quickly. So in about three to four hours, if you've put an oil on your skin, that oil will be gone. The body will have naturally and easily um, moved it out of the body. And we can't say the same for a lot of medications and a lot of other products that we use in our life. So that's actually a really positive thing with essential oils. They're metabolized easily and well within the body. Um, you know, I like to use diluted fractionated coconut oil to pre prevent any skin irritation, um, especially with hot oils. I will give some examples in the presentation as we keep going. The last and um, also very effective way to use essential oils is internally. So, um, you know, a lot of people are a little nervous about this whole internal consumption thing, uh, but we can use therapeutic grade essential oils 
internally as a dietary supplement for targeted wellness. Um, if you're a little bit nervous about that, uh, I can certainly answer questions towards the end of the conversation today, but if you decide that using oils internally piques your interest, I highly encourage, actually, I highly discourage using anything but doTERRA's essential oils. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, she just sells doTERRA, but really, there's a reason I was a skeptic and it took me so long to get to the essential oil world, and it's because I wanted to only use the best product in the world, and doTERRA is it. I would not be here talking about doTERRA the way that I am unless I 100% believed in it. And for that reason, I trust the company with my life and I will take these oils internally when I need them for targeted work in my body. I don't necessarily take them internally every day, um, but they're so supportive to my body that I'll use them again and some examples that I'll use going forward today. So I also really like them in cooking. So as a dietitian, I love to cook. Um, I know I've got Brianne on here. She uses a lot of essential oils in her cooking. If you want some of the best recipes, bar none, whether they use essential oils or not, head over to Brianne's website, um, Fem Fusion Fitness. She has got some of the best stuff in the whole wide world. And she often uses essential oils to create different things. So that's a really fun use of essential oils as well. So before we get started, I want to go through some safety tips. This is very important to me, um, especially since I do work with patients and people who like to use essential oils for their health. But it's very important to just keep these tips in mind. Make sure that you keep essential oils out of your eyes out of your ears, out of your nose, and other sensitive areas, not to be named, okay? Um, essential oils are highly concentrated, and for that reason, we shouldn't be putting them in body orifices. I actually learned about a story of uh, somebody who used uh, melaleuca, an oil we'll talk about today, uh, for an ear infection, but they literally dropped the oil directly in the ear cavity, and that caused a lot of problems because it's so highly concentrated, and, and that's when we hear a bad rap about oils is when people aren't using them effectively. So one of my intentions in, in this class today is to teach you how to use them effectively, but also safely. So important. And that's why we, doTERRA is a, a network marketing company is because we want to support and educate you. If doTERRA was just on the shelves of the health food store, you'd never know what to do. You'd have to hunt down the information. You wouldn't have a community to teach you this information uh, as you go along. So another thing to keep in mind is to try to dilute your oils with fractionated coconut oil instead of water. Um, fractionated coconut oil actually mixes with the essential oils, um, and believe it or not, essential oils don't have any fat in them. People hear the word oil and they think fat, but essential oils are soluble, soluble in fatty substances such as a fractionated coconut oil, which makes an excellent carrier when we use our oils topically. Always, always, always read the label. So all of your oils will have a little label and instruction on there. Super important to follow the directions on the label. Not oils are suitable for internal use, as an example. So it's important to read the label and use as directed. So um, when using internally, make sure you're using glass or stainless steel. I'll add a couple drops of lemon to my water in the morning, and I'll only do that if I have my stainless steel cup and it even has a stainless steel straw. You can use glass or ceramic, but what can happen, and that's the first oil we'll talk about, is lemon and other citrus oils can actually corrode plastic. And no, that does not mean it corrodes the inside of your body, and I'll explain why. All right, so let's get into it. So one of the first oils I wanna to talk to you about today is lemon. Lemon is an incredibly fresh smelling oil. We see a lot of lemon used in a lot of dishes for cooking. We also know that lemon has a benefit of having a cleansing and purifying benefit to our bodies and the air that we breathe. Okay, lemon oil is one of my favorite oils. I use it almost every day in my water, like I said, in my stainless steel water container. But what it does is it freshens up the water so I do stay better hydrated, because you know I live in a 6, 000, above 6,000 feet, so I have to drink a little bit more water than normal. But when I put a little drop of lemon in there, it makes it taste flavorful, refreshing. Um, for those of you who have you know, bouts of nausea, Lemon oil is fantastic. You add it to your water or drop it in your hand, give it a nice big whiff, and you're gonna feel so much better instantaneously. A lot of my women who I work with who are pregnant love lemon essential oil because it's perfectly safe and it's a great way to combat nausea um, when they're feeling kind of icky during those first couple trimesters. 
So it also is a, a natural digestive support and it helps aid the body in digestion and cleansing. So a lemon oil is wonderful. I actually don't diffuse lemon very often. Sometimes I will in a blend, but lemon is one of my favorite oils to use um, uh, in blends that I make and also just to add to food, my water uh, specifically, to make it taste better, to make it more refreshing and to support the body. It also can um, support respiratory function and just smelling it as with any citrus oil, lime, orange, all these others, it does promote a positive mood. So it's very uplifting. Just think about all the citrus oils as being happiness in a bottle. And in every 15 ml bottle, you get 250 drops of happiness. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions about lemon oil before I move on to the next one? You can just go ahead and unmute yourself. I'm happy to answer that. Or any other uses? Anybody have any like, oh, you have to use lemon oil for this. It's a good stain remover, I forgot to mention that. Um, lemon oil can help remove stains from clothes. So say you got like something, you know, I have a 13 month old daughter who literally comes home from daycare every day and she's got like little sticky stuff. I put a few drops of lemon in, in her laundry on occasion and that helps kind of break up the stains and helps uh, lift stains from clothes. Is there anything else that anybody uses it for? There's so many more uses, but I can't talk about them all because, you know, we've only got an hour or so. All right, well, I'm gonna move on to the next one. If you think of something, jot it down, we'll come back to your favorite testimonials afterwards. All right, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite oils, lavender. I just used this one this morning. I was out for a walk. I got a million bug bites. I don't know where they came from, but I've got really itchy legs. And I just dabbed on my lavender oil all over across my bug bites to help reduce the pain associated with that itchiness, okay? Not what you'd normally think of using lavender for, right? We know lavender is one of those things that's in a lot of health spa products that helps promote relaxation, has a very calming and grounding effect on our emotions. Uh, it helps ease feelings of tension. I mean, this oil is so good for somebody who's high stress. High stress in life, high stress in work, high stress mom. Whatever it is, this oil is one of those must-haves, okay, along with lemon. It does, like I said, soothe occasional skin irritation. So even with my daughter, my 13-month-old daughter, if she has a skin irritation, well, she's got really bad diaper rash right now. She's teething. Ugh. Um, and I've used lavender on her bum, her little bum. I, I get it really well diluted with fractionated coconut oil, and I've been putting it to help soothe that painful irritation that's uh, related to her, her diaper rash, right? I've also put it on you know, rashes when I've got them myself, um, but it's really amazing. They call this the, uh, the uh, um, Swiss Army Knife of Oils, which is kind of funny, um, but it has so many different uses, and I've just explained a couple, but another great thing you can do because of those relaxing sensations that go along with lavender is you can just add it to some bath water, you know, take a bath, drop it in, the, in a couple drops into the tub, and you know, you can even put a little bit on the back of your temples or behind your ears, and it's amazing how that will help you drift off into a more relaxed and peaceful state. Um, I even take lavender, and maybe I'll mix it with another oil, but I'll put it in my hand before bedtime, rub my hands together, and just give myself a gentle scalp massage before I go to bed. And when I lay down on my pillow, I can just, all I smell is this beautiful lavender wafting over my face as I fall asleep. I notice I sleep better, um, I'm, I fall asleep faster when I use lavender oil. I can also put this on my feet. I didn't mention this in uh, the introduction, but our feet have tons and tons of pores on them, really big ones compared to the rest of our body. And when we put essential oils on our feet, it's amazing how quickly they're integrated there and they can affect our body systems. Now this is especially important to know, so say you have a husband or maybe even yourself, you don't love lavender. You don't like the smell. My husband doesn't like lavender. He actually prefers I not diffuse it at night. Um, I still do, but um, he doesn't love it. So what he could do if he wanted to get the effects of lavender is to put it on his feet. Simple as that, you put it on, socks on, can't smell it, okay? Um, anybody have any recommendations or ideas about how they use lavender in their life that they'd like to share? Again, you can simply unmute yourself. If you have anything, nobody, 
Okay, I'm gonna pick on some of you towards the end of class. Hey, there's Shannon, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I see little pictures popping up, it's super fun. Um, all right, so the next oil, so we've talked about lemon, we've talked about lavender. Um, this one can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. Yes, you can take internal lavender. Uh, you can add it to your tea at night. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's actually very calming and soothing. Okay, the next one, and the one that I talked about kind of initially is peppermint. Another gateway oil. Lemon, lavender, or peppermint are probably the gateway into essential oil world. Um, so peppermint is fantastic. It is super, super powerful. As mentioned before, 28 cups of peppermint tea and one tiny little drop of peppermint. If you've never experienced peppermint and you're interested in essential oils, please contact me and I will send you a sample of this oil because it is so incredible. You'll go to the health food store and you'll compare, you know, essential oils to another peppermint essential oil to doTERRA's and you will see a remarkable difference. doTERRA's peppermint oil is harvested in Washington and it has this incredibly fresh, like aromatic quality to it that will blow your mind. It is so refreshing and so energizing. You can immediately feel when you smell peppermint how it clears out your sinus cavity. So if you suffer from, from you know, seasonal allergies or things that create a stuffy nose, maybe you have a cold, uh, peppermint is a perfect go-to oil to just put in your diffuser, put into your hands, breathe it in to help open up your system, open up your lungs, and help you feel energized and refreshed. This is also really amazing for those of you who are active and like to exercise. If I'm going for a long walk or a run, I'll put peppermint on my feet to help keep me energized and alert and awake. For those of you who are moms, peppermint is a must-have. It is a must-have. You have up and downs with your sleep, you have ins and outs with your kids, and peppermint will help you stay on top of your game. I, I kid you not, I will just pick up peppermint if it's been a long day um, with my daughter Maya, and I'll just smell this and I'll instantly feel better. Um, so I do encourage you, if you have not, um, oh no, Shannon had to drop out, she lost her audio, but the peppermint is so, 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 so critical if you're any kind of family person, or if you're a workaholic. Uh, heck, you have work long hours. Peppermint is a great one to keep at your desk side. I actually keep this at the RD office I work at, and a lot of my coworkers will come up to me and they'll be like, it's been a long day. I need peppermint. And they'll put a drop in their hands and smell it. It's also great for relieving um, tension in the head. So if you have head tension, you can drop a little bit of peppermint oil and put it up high. If you can see my picture, up high on your temples or on the bottoms of your feet, that will help the head tension. Um, I encourage you not to put it too close to the eyes because peppermint's aromatically very strong and can provoke a little bit of eye watering. It won't kill you, but it, it will be like, whoa, you'll kind of be a little bit um, thrown off if it gets too much into your eyes. So peppermint's also, it's like got a million uses. It's also great for occasional uh, stomach discomfort. So if you've had a really heavy meal or you've um, you know, just a little bit of indigestion for whatever reason, you can actually take peppermint internally and it will really support the healthy digestive function, help you feel better pretty quickly. So anyway, just a few key benefits of peppermint. Again, another oil you can use aromatically, topically, internally. Um, I love to diffuse this with my citrus oils, wild orange being one that I really, really love that I'm going to Talk about a freebie for those of you who are new to oils. I can get you a free wild orange today, um, but it goes really, really well with this magical peppermint oil. Does anybody have any testimonials they want to share? We've got a quiet crew. Anybody? 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 Shannon, can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Shannon? Oh, I don't know if she can. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Audio issues. Okay. Okay. And say something. <laughs> Here's Brianne. Hi, Brianne. Hi, Jess. Yay. <laughs> I love peppermint. I think it's my new favorite oil. I love them all, but peppermint is my favorite, and I love it in cleaning products. Good. What cleaning products do you make with peppermint oil? I like making my glass and surface spray with vinegar, water, peppermint, and a little bit of On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. Ooh, I like it. I'm going to have to send that recipe for you. Yeah, and it makes me want to clean my counters. Isn't that awesome? So that's not some, a benefit we've talked about yet, but actually the reason I got into essential oils, the first thing I did with my oils was make cleaning products. 
you know, I was, I was in a master's class for environmental medicine. We were talking about like all the toxins in our homes. And did you guys know that there's more toxins inside of your home than there are outdoors? That's crazy because usually we come home, we want to come home to a safe space. But because of all the crappy candles, those Glade plugins, the chemical toxic cleaners that we use on our windows, our surfaces, et cetera, creates this, and then they're aromatic as well, creates this space of toxic waste. Not to mention, I mean, I'm not going to go into the fact that new carpet, new furniture, all of these put out gases that are actually really harmful to us. So if we can cut back on those in any way, I mean, we're not ever going to cut them out. We're never going to reduce our toxic burden to zero. We'd have to go live inside of a bubble, and that wouldn't be fun. But what we can do is reduce them. And one of the quickest and easiest ways to do that is by making your own household cleaning products. And I'm going to bring up my favorite. I'm glad you mentioned that you use peppermint, Brianne, because it is super uplifting. You're cleaning away, and guess what? That peppermint is wafting into the air, and it's making you feel like you want to clean more. And who doesn't want that? You know, no one likes to clean their house. Maybe some people. Do. But if you have that extra energy to actually do it and you can throw some peppermint in there, it's also going to have antibacterial properties that will help clean off those surfaces. I mean, why not? Peppermint is fantastic. So I'm going to talk about cleaning products more when I talk about a specific blend. I think, Brianne, you mentioned it, but we'll get there. Is there anything else you wanted to add? No, my husband just made me a little batch of peppermint and wild orange in the diffuser because he's a good guy. So that's awesome. I, I will mute myself. Okay. All right. So moving on, Melaleuca. Melaleuca is another really awesome oil. Um, Melaleuca comes from the tea tree. So some of you who have purchased products at the store, maybe for your face, to cleanse your face, might have tea tree oil or Melaleuca is actually the, the proper name, I guess. Um, but it is really well known for its cleansing and rejuvenating effects on the skin. So you'll see this in products on the store, but this stuff right here, is the real deal. Melaleuca um, that can actually be internally digested because it has a supplement fax label. Uh, freaking amazing. Okay. Melaleuca is really safe on young children's skin as well. Um, I can dilute this really well with some fractionated coconut oil and put it on my daughter. Um, it does also promote a healthy immune function. People will take this internally if they have, you know, they're sick and they just want some immune support. Melaleuca will provide that. This is another one of my favorites in cleaning products. Uh, I associate the aroma of Melaleuca with clean. Um, and I'm sure that's just a byproduct of growing up in a world with tea tree, tea tree products here and there. But I feel clean when I use Melaleuca in cleaning products. Um, it really does protect against environmental and seasonal threats as well. So you can make a hand sanitizer with Melaleuca. It's really easy. If you want a recipe, I can provide that. Um, you can use Melaleuca in your laundry. Like you can throw drops in your laundry to help freshen up your load, provide extra antibacterial activity in there. Um, Melaleuca is also really good in rollerball. So if you have skin irritation, I'll actually combine so I have bug bites. I was too lazy to do it the other day. But you can actually combine Melaleuca and um, lavender and create like a little owie blend. You call it the owie blend. You put it on little bug bites or skin irritations, and it can really help support those, the healing of those and the management of the bacteria that can get into those, etc. cetera. So um, Melaleuca is awesome. It can be used neat without any dilution, but I always encourage people especially when you're new to essential oils, always dilute them. There's no harm in diluting an essential oil with um, some fractionated coconut oil, uh, just if you're unsure. I'm not sure how it's gonna react with my skin, I'll try it diluted. So um, I'm not gonna cover dilution in this class today, but it'll probably be a future class where I'll teach you guys how to make some roller balls and some fun creative stuff um, with your essential oils. If you have one-on-one -on -one questions, always happy to help you talk to you over the phone, over a Zoom call, et cetera, to get more information about your personal health needs. So um, yeah, and you can also, it's, notice on the bottom, people might be reading my slides, and it says um, you can put it in water or veggie caps to support immune system function. I want to tell you what a veggie cap is real quick. A veggie cap, you can actually get them from the company doTERRA, but you can, you can buy them on Amazon and stuff too. Um, these little guys are just basically empty little capsules that you can open very easily. Put your oil in the, t in the cap and pop it closed. 
take it with water, um, swallow it, etc. And that can be a nice way to not taste the oil as it goes down, but you still want the cleansing properties. You can put your melaleuca in here. I think it's the next oil we're talking about, oregano, so I'll actually flip the slide, is another oil that you would want to put in a veggie cap if you wanted to take it internally, okay? Oregano oil is super powerful. Do, do, do. It is an extremely potent antibacterial, um, antifungal. This oil is strong, okay? I really use oregano fairly sparingly in my world. Um, I actually, in clinic, clinically, when I worked with a functional medicine doctor in Hawaii, we actually use oregano and thyme oil to help rebalance gut bacteria. I mean, it was like part of a clinical protocol. Like, don't just, you know, throw this down the hatch and expect miracles. But oregano um, specifically is almost like, I mean, and I, maybe I should be careful about how I say this, but it's almost like an antibiotic. Like, it does kill pathogenic or bad bacteria. Uh, for that reason, um, if you do choose to use oregano, I encourage you to use it for a short period of time, maybe up to two weeks, 10 days to two weeks max at a time because it does have those pretty strong qualities um, that can kill pathogenic bacteria. Um, it tends to be less strong than like an antibiotic that will just be like a bomb to your gut and just kill everything. Oregano won't do that, but it will kill um, the bad bacteria in your gut. It will, it will spare the good guys, but it does is something you just want to use momentarily because gut flora, and if you've heard that talked about before, it's about a balance. Um, you know, people are like, oh, I have an, a yeast overgrowth. And they're like, oh no, yeast is bad, kill all the yeast. But actually, that's not true. You actually need a little bit of yeast in your body, right? You don't have to kill. Um, a, a bacteria becomes pathogenic when there's too much of it in relative abundance to the other guys. So oregano can just help rebalance the system when taken internally. Uh, it helps maintain a healthy immunity as well. It's also incredibly powerful for cleaning. So again, you could use this in your cleaning products. I personally really like to use oregano in cooking. Um, oregano, again, very, very strong. One go drop goes a very, very, very long ways. Um, but oregano is pretty uh, incredible when it comes to flavoring some food. One of my favorite things to do, like if I'm having a party or you know, I need something quick and kind of fancy to whip up, I'll take some coconut oil and some butter, about half to half, um, put them in a little jar, whip it up, add a drop of oregano, and maybe some fresh rosemary so you can see the little bits and pieces. Whip it up and mix it all in. Literally, one drop, start with one drop. Maybe add a second drop if you are like really love the, the strength of the oregano flavor. And maybe some garlic or something like that. Whip it up and you can dip veggies, you can dip, um, like you can use it as a spread for like a French loaf of, um, a French bread loaf or something like that. You can even use it like if you have some leftover, you, again, you can melt it over vegetables or um, you know, use it as a marinade. Uh, but we also use uh, oregano in marinades and things like that too, like for stuff that we're cooking on the grill. So oregano is awesome in the kitchen. So if you're not using it as an internal cleansing thing, you can also use it in the kitchen. I've also used oregano on um, toes for, to help support healthy feet. Um, so, you know, we are exposed to a lot of stuff on our feet. So putting oreg uh, diluted oregano on our toes and feet can help purify and clean those areas, especially if you have fungal overgrowth, etc. So oregano, it's one of those really amazing things. Um, you can actually find uh, some recipes online through the doTERRA website on like roasted marinara sauce. So uh, really, really awesome. Just note when you're using oils for cooking, add the oil towards the end of the cooking process because if it's heated for a really long time, it can destroy the beautiful aromatic qualities of the oil. So just add them right at the very end, okay? All right, any, any testimonials on oregano? I gotta check my time, I gotta keep cruising through. All right, frankincense. This is the king of oils, you guys. Frankincense is um, a resin from a tree uh, called the Boswellia tree uh, that is considered one of, I mean, the king of oils. It has so many aromatic compounds in it that are supportive of our health. Um, there's a ton of information on PubWet, uh, excuse me, PubMed using frankincense oil for different therapeutic. Uh, opportunities. Um, it really is amazing at supporting our immune system. It's got this warm, spicy 
you know, smell to it. Sometimes people who, if you grew up in a Catholic home and you went to church, you might pick up a bottle of frankincense and smell it and be like, oh my God, this smells like church, you know, because frankincense is also uh, often burned in um, uh, ceremonial uh, parts of a, of a, of a, um, what am I trying to say? Of a, of a sermon or, or of a mass, um, you might smell a scent, a scent of frankincense. The stuff that doTERRA gets actually comes from Somalia, which we all know is a third world country and it's protected, highly protected, um, by a Navy SEAL actually protects the shipments that leave Somalia because this is such a, an incredible place to harvest frankincense. The frankincense trees in Somalia have incredible amounts of these compounds that are therapeutic and good for our health. So this frank bottle of frankincense, this 250 drops is to be used very judiciously, but also knowing that it's very safe and effective. Um, frankincense can also be taken internally. Uh, it also, it's very good for grounding. So if you're somebody who does yoga or meditation, using frankincense oil during your yoga or your meditative prayer, whatever it is you do as a spiritual ritual can actually be really, really supportive of bringing you to that peaceful and calm state. Um, you might even just put it on, like after a long day, you might just put some on your heart space, put it into your hand and smell it, put it on your feet for that soothing and relaxing, calming effect. Frankincense is also, I mean, there's so many things, you guys, I could go on and on and on and on, but there are a lot of skincare products. So walk into a Macy's, into a Nordstrom, go to their high care skin lines, and you will find frankincense essential oil in many of them, as well as other essential oils. But frankincense is very commonly found in those products uh, because it can help diminish fine lines and wrinkles. It supports skin health. Um, we, you know, I actually use a line of skincare that has frankincense in it and I absolutely love it. When I was first introduced to frankincense, I was not a big fan. I didn't really love the smell. The more I use it, the more I'm in love. I literally, this, this scent takes me into like a heavenly space. It's so beautiful. Um, mm, every household should have this. Every household should have this beautiful product. Uh, there's even a little um, a little recipe at the bottom of the slide. Uh, feel free to jot it down. You add some bentonite clay, apple cider vinegar, and a couple drops of some of the oils I've talked about, frankincense, lavender, and melaleuca, to be exact. You can make a very beautiful, nourishing DIY clay mask uh, to help purify the skin. That's an amazing use of frankincense. Again, also to be taken internally, if you so choose to support that immune system, help support cellular health as well. So frankincense is amazing. Let's keep going. Digestin is the next oil. Now, digestin is not like a single oil. This is actually a blend of different oils that can support digestive and intestinal tract health. I love this oil as a dietitian because I work with a lot of people who have IBS and icky feelings in their tummy, digestive zen, digestive zen. Digest zen is one of those oils that can really support those issues, those tummy issues. Um, you'll notice on the ingredients list here, um, yes, uh, okay, it has ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, and fennel, all of which known are help to support digestive properties. Um, this is a great one just to keep in your purse. Now, I know the holidays are kind of far away, but they are coming right? And digestion should be, <laughs> should be on your holiday table. Maybe 4th of July, you're having some people over to smack yeah. that baby right on there and let people enjoy it after their meal to help support their digestive systems afterwards. Um, you can also put it on your feet. If you don't like the taste, you can put it in a veggie cap to swallow it. I highly encourage that. Digestin is really strong. Not my favorite to ingest, but so effective. And I don't taste it when I put it in my veggie cap. You can also put it right on your belly. So a lot of people just like to put it right around their belly button and it's absorbed quickly into the body and provides that relief as well. There's different ways to use these oils. Some are more effective than others on one person versus the other. It's all about experimenting, having fun, and enjoying the process. But digestin, again, one of the top 10 oils Hey, there's Wendy. She has her Digestin soft shells. Um, I hadn't brought that up, but she, you can actually buy Digestin already encapsulated for you for those moments of need. Um, so Digestin does come in a capsule. I'm just showing you the oil today because you can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can blend it with wild orange, give it an 
extra boost of a digestive support, but I love seeing some digest sun. You can use this aromatically, topically, or internally, okay? Um, and you can also use it for motion sickness. This is another great thing. You're on a long road trip. It's the summer. There's all kinds of road trips happening. Digestin is awesome for those long road trips. Um, so you can enjoy the scenery and not be thinking about, you know, opening the window and, you know, taking care of matters in another way. So uh, love some Digestin. Another blend I absolutely adore is... Pick. breathe okay breathe is amazing and it's very much like the word uh, uh, the what it's called breathe it, it does what it says it does it helps your respiratory system I use this very very often in the diffusers by my favorite way to use breathe um, every almost every night I put this in lavender in my daughter's diffuser she's at daycare and she's picking up all kinds of germs and despite all the healthy food we eat, I'm still breastfeeding, all those things that support her health, there are just germs. And they come and they take over and they give her stuffy nose and breathe is so helpful in those situations. Um, I don't currently put it on her skin, but I will put it in the diffuser because I know that's a safe and effective way to use breathe with her. So breathe is awesome. It's got peppermint and there's a, a magical peppermint. It's in everything. Uh, eucalyptus, melaleuca, laurel leaf, lemon, uh, robinsara, cardamom, and um, it's just, it's really beautiful. It's kind of minty, it's hot, it's fresh, airy. Uh, you know, it's also really helpful. People like to put it in their uh, diffuser because it helps them rest better. So breathe is fantastic. My husband uses this a lot too. He's like, babe, where's the breathe? They make it in a stick. You can put it on your chest. Um, you can blend it with other oils in your diffuser or in a little roller ball um, to give you the effect of that clean and um, open airway. So if you're thinking about your, 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 um, your health of your family, Breathe is another one. Again, opening those airways, keeping your breath, breathing good is such an essential and important part of health. Oxygen flow is part of life, right? We need oxygen to sleep well, to be well, to exercise well, to do all those things that prevent um, chronic disease, frankly. So increasing oxygen flow with breathe is one way to help support that system in your body. Okay. Um, anybody have any thing they want to share? Just pop in, just unmute yourself and pop in. Don't be shy. Otherwise I'm just going to keep going. Okay. All right. You can actually mix breathe with lime and it adds a little extra boost, um, for the, for the, uh, breathing and, and respiratory system. So that's another little fun tip. Okay. Oh yeah, so we're getting into the blends now. So these are um, all made by aromatherapists. So I, I talked about uh, Breathe, I talked about Digestin. Deep Blue is another one, a really popular blend that helps with muscle pain. So I have I brought up this oil in a Facebook Live I did recently, uh, blending it with two other oils, but Deep Blue in and of itself actually is a blend. Aromatherapists um, put this blend together specifically for supporting the muscles and the joints after a long day, after exercise. Maybe you just have some achy joints. You, you know, you kind of hurt in the morning <laughs> when you get out of bed. This is your product. Um, my grandmother loves her deep blue. Um, she uses deep blue a lot on her, her arthritic knees. Um, so deep blue is amazing. It does come in this lovely little oil. It's very, very concentrated. It's got wintergreen in it, which is especially effective for supporting joints and muscles. Um, it also has that peppermint again, it has blue tansy. So it has this beautiful blue color. When you put it into your hand, you'll notice it's very blue. It doesn't stain any, well, it might stain some clothes, but it doesn't stain your skin. It gets soaked right in. Um, there's also blue chamomile, helichrysum, which, whoa, that oil's incredible. Not going to go into it today, but whoa, like, whoa. Um, and then there's os osmanthus flower in there as well. So I also love Deep Blue in the rub form. There's actually a, an essential oil in this lotion that is like powerful. Athletic teams in this country actually buy this stuff in like giant tubs in order to like feel better after a hard game. Um, so this is amazing. Kind of think about it as a natural um, and therapeutic icy hot. You know, that's like a, one of those products on the shelves. You can actually use it in replacement of that. It's a little more natural. It doesn't have all that junk in it, um, you know, 
anyway, it's all natural essential oils. So I love my deep blue. I just put some on this morning. I put on my little pain rub um, that Wendy actually gave me the recipe for. It has deep blue, um, copaiba, and fur oil in it, which is just a lovely, lovely, lovely combination. Um, gosh, there's so much to say about deep blue, but I'm going to end it there. Unless anybody else wants to talk about deep blue, this is, this is just like the oil of pain management. Anybody? Okay. You guys are so quiet today. It's all good though. I love it. Okay. Um, okay. What, there's something else I want to tell you about deep blue. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, uh, it'll come to me later. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Sorry guys. <laughs> so deep blue, uh, along with all of these other oils, another thing I love about doTERRA, and I haven't even like gotten to the slide where I'm going to talk about doTERRA and why I love it, but these oils are researched and used by researchers in big universities like John, uh, sorry, John Hopkins and Vanderbilt. Um, there's hospitals around the country using these essential oils in their practices um, for their staff to support their emotional health. Like this is the real deal, you guys. Like I'm not talking about oils because I want to get you to buy more or sell more. These are like truly amazing products to help support and enhance your life, frankly. And it's not just something that's a passing fad. Like this is the real deal. Doctors are using doTERRA. And that's why I finally like dropped my skepticism is because these oils are magical and people know it. Well-educated people know it. Okay. On guard. Next one. On guard. This is probably saving the best for last. This is the oil that all the people in the world should be using um, it's the protective blend. It has a whole bunch of crazy, awesome ingredients like wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. It's spicy. It's warm. It's grounding. I diffused it this morning while I was making my green smoothie. It is just such a relaxing oil. But on top of that, you guys, this has, oh my God, it has such amazing antibacterial properties. They did some, um, a test, we, we learned about it last year at convention, where they sprayed a surface that was literally like three drops of on guard oil in a, a bottle of water. And they sprayed it on a surface and it got rid of germs for like seven days in a row. Like three drops in a, in a pretty big eight to 12 ounce bottle of uh, spray bottle of water sprayed on a surface and it was, it cleaned it off. I use this everywhere. I keep a little spray bottle in my purse with On Guard and I put it like when I go to the grocery store, I'll spray it on the handles. If you are a traveler, you're gonna be on the road this summer and you're gonna be in the hotel room, you can spray a diluted um, water and On Guard mixture on your bed cover. Like think about all the weird people that have been in the hotel, spray it on there, spray it on the remote control, like the most contaminated uh, object in your hotel room, right? The remote control, spray it on there, um, spray it everywhere. You can spray it everywhere because it's totally safe. It's totally good for you. You can take this internally. I do often when I'm getting sick or a cold, I will take uh, on guard internally under my tongue a couple times a day, just one or two drops. Not a big deal. I like the taste. I even use this in my toothpaste because um, it's really good for oral health. In fact, I've worked with dentists who like to use On Guard because of that clove oil. It has a lot of research for killing pathogenic bacteria in the oral cavity. So you can drop a drop on your toothpaste. Like literally, you can use whatever toothpaste you want. I personally like the doTERRA toothpaste, whatever. But you can put it on whatever drop one drop of on guard brush away and it's just amazing um, my cousin actually told me she did that for like six months went to the dentist and her dentist is like what are you doing and she said doing differently and she said well I've just been using this on guard you know I put it on my toothpaste or whatever and the the hygienist and the doc, uh, the dentist said you don't have any plaque like there's nothing to remove and she's like, really? And she's like, you're like the second or third patient to come in telling us that they're using this on guard um, in their oral routine to support their oral health. And I was like, wow, isn't that incredible? I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? Like all you have to do is give these a try. Like there's no risk and they're just, they're just amazing. So I hope that um, if you don't try any other oil in your life, on guard is the one you try because it is so supportive. Um, 
It also is a natural antioxidant. It supports respiratory function. Diffusing it is amazing. Using it topically is amazing. I put it on Maya's feet before she goes to daycare in the morning to support her immune system. And then of course, aromatically, it's a very grounding, very centering blend. Um, in fact, before, well, I already told you, I use this to kind of ground myself before the class today because it's just really, really nice. Um, you can even make it, you can cook with it. You can put it on, you know, apples or you can put, it says a little tip on the bottom. So soak some sliced apples in water with a few drops of On Guard uh, for a healthy immune boosting snack. So that's kind of a fun way to ingest it if you don't just want to, you know, drop it down the hatch or put it in a veggie cap, etc. You can do it that way as well. Also, just put it on your feet every morning before you leave the house. Put a drop or two of On Guard on the bottom soles of your feet and allow your body to absorb it that way. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so those are the top 10 oils. They're amazing. They're just, they really are, they're awesome. Um, I hope you guys, if you have these oils in your house, you got some ideas on how you can, um, how you can incorporate them a little bit better and more effectively if you have them already. If you don't have them already, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to support you in getting some into your home. If someone else introduced you to doTERRA, go talk to them. Go talk to them about getting these oils. Um, of course, you know, we're here to, uh, here in the Your Oil That support page on Facebook. We're here to support you. I'm here to support you elsewhere, one-on-one um, -on -one as well. But I do quickly want to talk about why the heck I chose doTERRA. I kind of mentioned it already, but you guys, these plants, the, the plants that doTERRA uses for their essential oils, which is not true always of other companies, is that they're sourced all over the world. So I'm going to show you a picture where all these oils come from. Um, white fur, you know, comes from lower Europe or, yeah, sorry, marjoram, um, thyme, lavender, birch. You know this, all of these oils come from different places all across the world. And that is because doTERRA seeks out where these plants are indigenously grown so that they have the most potent and powerful compounds to support your health. They'll triple batch test these oils to make sure they're 100% therapeutic grade. You will not get that from your Walmart essential oils. You will not get that from your essential oils at the health food store. Even if they say 100% pure, that doesn't mean anything. Health claims are pointless. doTERRA is the first company that actually is being used by hospitals and doctors because it is 100% therapeutic grade quality oil. And that's the only thing I want to be breathing in my home. I don't know about you, but that's all I want to use in my cleaning products. That's all I want to use on my daughter, right? Like she's so important to me. Her health is so important to me. I only will use the best with her. So it's important to me that harvesting those plants in their indigenous, you know, growing situation, they're harvested by people. There's no middleman. You know, no one's getting paid a lot. doTERRA takes care of those crops directly. I mean, it's just amazing, you guys, the philanthropy that doTERRA does for these different countries all across the globe to support their livelihood. It's like fair trade, basically, like they're giving back to the farmers in incredible ways. Um, but what that provides is an opportunity to, to support the world and then knowing as the customer that we're getting every single batch of our oils tested rigorously three times before they're put into this little bottle and sent to our home is very... Um, good for my brain, you know? Um, again, as somebody who's really uh, interested in research, doTERRA is constantly working with universities to provide clinical trials on how these oils can be used clinically and effectively and therapeutically in healthcare settings. They're even starting to build, this is so cool, this is really cool, I just have to share this with you. They're actually building facilities, healthcare facilities across the US, they're starting this year, and to provide integrative support and care and love with essential oils through medicine. This is the only company, only essential oils company that has the ability to do this and they're doing it. So whether or not you're listening to my, my spiel and you're like, this girl is crazy, <laughs> um, doTERRA is here to stay. This company isn't going anywhere. The reason we're a network marketing company is not because we're a scam. Pyramid schemes are about companies that are selling nothing, okay? doTERRA is selling a solid product and the only way that you would get the education and support and community that you need to learn how to integrate and use these oils in your home is through communication and support and team. And that's what we provide in doTERRA is we give you the support you need to use these oils to change your life. And again, this is going to come off really cheesy, but it's true. And I didn't get that at first. I was scared to death of network marketing, scared to death. Now that I'm in this company and I'm seeing the effects that these oils have in my life, 
I'll never go back. I will never go back. They're just amazing. And I really want to push that through to you to give them a try. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. I'm just really trying to support and help you find solutions to your health issues. And I want to support you in doing so. And if you're watching this video because one of your friends sent it to you, I encourage you to talk to that friend about how you might try a sample, you know, get some oils to experience for yourself. If you don't have a person to do that for you, I can be that person. I can totally send you something uh, to get started, to get just to try the oils and experience how incredibly powerful they are. Um, so I'm going to go back. Sorry guys. So anyway, so that's really what I wanted to share with you today. If you are interested in bringing oils into your life, I talked about the 10 best oils bar none. Um, I don't know. That's hard, isn't it? Like those of you who use oils, but what about, what, what about there's a million oils out there, but these really are the top 10 to start to help support 80% of what's going on in your home. Really? Like that's what you need to start with. Um, you can actually get them through doTERRA in two kits, two of my favorite kits. The family physician kit is the most affordable kit. It comes with the 10 oils I talked about, as well as some peppermint beadlets and on guard beadlets, basically one little drop and a tiny little bead um, that you can pop in for digestive support or on guard for immune support. Um, but this kit is actually how I got started. Okay. Um, I got started with the family physician kit. I was interested in health and wellness. I wanted something to help support, well, make cleaning products mostly at the beginning, but, but now that I use essential oils in every other facet of my life, this kit was a great way to get started. Um, the bottles are a little bit smaller, but it's great for you to get exposed to how these oils work and how beautiful they are. If you're like, no, I want a little bit more, the Home Essentials Kit is, is got every single oil I talked about today, plus it has a beautiful diffuser, and that's another way to get started with doTERRA. Um, again, no pressure to buy today. I just want to show you options for those of you who are interested in how do I do this? How do I get started? How do I bring these oils into my home? This small investment will save you tons of money down the road. You're going to be spending money anyway on healthcare products. Why not use something natural and safe and effective in your home? Um, why not prevent trips to the ER, right? Or you're going to get a bill for the price of this kit, right? When you walk into the ER. I have a friend in Colorado, her name is Erin, and I know she doesn't mind if I share this testimonial, but she came to me asking me questions about oils. I got some oils, helped her get oils into her home, and this touches me so deeply because I have children as well. Um, she has two kiddos, one who has really bad food allergies, and she has been, was bringing her kids at least once or twice a year into the uh, emergency room. Okay. Um, that is not a stress-free opportunity for a parent to have to bring your child to the emergency room because they can't breathe. Okay. That's really, really scary. Since she has integrated doTERRA into her life, into her routines for her children, for herself, her kids have not gone back to the emergency room. Not once since she brought doTERRA into her home. That to me is powerful. It brings tears to my eyes. Um, like it's so cool, right? Like, isn't that amazing? Um, you can't experience it until you try it for yourself. I'm not going to convince you of anything today, but I really wanted to share with you, especially if you're new to the oils. I know many of you who are going to be watching this recording later are. I encourage you to try using them every day. Get on, on my Your Oil That Facebook page. Get with the person who signed you up and learn about these oils and how amazing they can be in your home. I mean, they're just so, so, so incredible. If you have questions about these kits, feel free to reach out to me or the person who referred you. Um, we'd be happy to help you get started. The thing I love about doTERRA is when you get signed up as a wholesale customer, you don't have to buy a thing. It's like a Costco membership. You can go to the store if you want. You don't have to. But what you have is access to every product that doTERRA has for 25% off the retail prices. And that is worth its weight in gold. I never like to sell an oil to somebody retail. They've got to have their own membership so they can buy freely and experiment with things at their own will, right? And there's not a minimum order. You don't have to do X, Y, and Z. B, the proof is in the pudding. When you start using these oils, you're going to want to get more product into your home. All right, so if you need more information about essential oils, you're curious, uh, feel free to use the contact information on that first bullet to get a hold of me. I'm easy to reach. You can get me on Facebook as well. Text, give me a phone call. I'm not afraid to answer the phone. Um, unless I don't know the number, then leave me a message and I'll call you back, <laughs> right? Because uh, of all the creepy people out there, I'm just kidding. I know you're not creepy though, so do leave a message or a text before you call. Join my Facebook group if you haven't already. I have an awesome Facebook group, a lot of interaction. It's called Your Oil That. 
and we discuss you know different things that come up with essential oil use, share recipes, ideas, testimonials, etc. Um, and really, this is really important as well. Um, if you know somebody who could benefit from this information, I'm sure as we were giving this presentation, did you think of anybody in your life that could use melaleuca to support their immune system or frankincense uh, to help calm and soothe them after a, a long day? I'm sure there's someone in your life who could benefit from essential oils, right? For that reason, I'm recording this video and I'm going to share it um, on my Facebook page and also in an email, upcoming email. So if you have somebody in your life who needs essential oils, please give them this video and maybe a sample or two if you're already somebody who uses oils so they can experience what oils can really, really help support 80% of those needs in their home. In addition, if that person is curious and wants to learn more about their personal health, I'm happy to schedule a 30 minute session with them to review their health goals and help them find the oils that are most um, beneficial for their life. I'll often refer to my modern essentials usage guide. I am not an aromatherapist. I'm not a, you know, I'm not the expert of experts. I'm a dietitian. I love health. Um, I use oils, but I also use resources that I trust and I'll help point you and anybody else in the direction of those reputable sources. So lastly, before I close, I want to open it up for questions, but if you're interested in getting oils into your life this month, get a hold of me. I can get you a free wild orange and even a Copaiba, that last little, um, with this Home Essentials kit, you can get a free wild orange and a free Copaiba, which, whoa, Copaiba is like a whoa oil. Um, don't have time to go into it today, but it is a whoa oil. Um, it's very, very supportive of joints and pain. Um, but, but you can get those for free um, when you get that beautiful Home Essentials kit. So that's kind of fun too. So please share this video. Please share this with people in your life that you know need the support. And uh, with all that said, I'm going to open it up to questions. So anybody have any questions that is listening in? We're right at the hour mark. So I want to make sure and honor your time and let you go here soon. But I also don't, I have a couple minutes if somebody does have a question for me today. You just unmute yourself. Okay. Nothing. Well, if you think of something later, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know. Um, use that contact information. Again, reach out to the person who gave you this video and they can support you too. Um, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful 4th of July and enjoy your oils. Bring your digestion with you in case you eat a little bit too much of that party food. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Oh, I don't know how to, oh, I'm going to stop the recording. Bye, guys.